Okay, in this video we're going to look at the ulna. Of the two lower arm bones, this is the more medial. This is the ulna, and this is an anterior view that you're looking at. This semilunar notch is also called the trochlear notch. If you remember from the last video, it articulates with the medial condyle or trochlea of the humerus. This process right here on the ulna is the coronoid process. This goes on the anterior fossa, described as the coronoid fossa. This larger process on the posterior is your olecranon process. This will articulate with the olecranon fossa of the humerus. This olecranon process is ultimately what we call our elbow. When you bump this on a hard surface, it tends to be painful. As we go down the diaphysis of the ulna, we come to the, the head of the ulna at the distal end and a small styloid process. This distal end of the ulna articulates with your carpal bones at the distal end and on this lateral aspect of the ulna, it articulates with the distal end of the radius. Just as you see up here, you have what's known as a radial notch. This is where the head of the radius will articulate with this lateral aspect of the ulna. A quick roadmap, as I call them, for knowing right from left. This is your ulna in anterior view. This is the radial notch on the right lateral aspect. Whatever side of this bone that radial notch appears to be on, that's the side of the body this bone came from. So again, this is your ulna. One of the lower arm bones, the more medial of the two, and no other bone looks like it.